Hello, this is Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. Today we're looking at a free experience. I wouldn't call this a game. It's called Ferris's Room VR. And if you're a child of the 80s or older, then Ferris Bueller's Day Off is one of the films that's in your childhood memories. Uh, one of the most iconic films of that era. And this is a recreation of Ferris's Bueller's Room, so that's why it's called Ferris's Room VR, obviously. Uh, there is audio on a lot of items you can highlight. For example, that deer, the posters, the bed, the mannequin, the computer, the TV, the chair. But uh, I'm not going to click on any of the audio, but the only thing that I can click on is the keyboard. And as you can see, every time you click on the keyboard, it does make a, a sound. And of course, uh, he's allegedly sick in the bed, so that's why he's making all those coughing sounds and whatnot. Uh, the other thing I can click on is the red little bubbles, so I can teleport in and out. And as you can see, there is a baseball collection that will zoom in a little bit closer. So check it out, as you can see. I believe that's Ken Griffey Jr., if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. It, yeah, I think it is Ken Griffey. Um, I don't know who all these baseball players are. To be honest, a little some of this is a little bit before my time, so I'm not familiar with some of the older players. But just seeing the Seattle and seeing that swing, it does look an awful lot like Griffey, although it's kind of blurry, so I can't really tell. The only thing that surprises me is, like, I didn't know Ken Griffey was that old. This must have been him, like, at 18 years old, playing back with baseball or 19. He must have been very young in that photo. Uh, you can also pick up the baseball. Uh, okay, yes, yeah, right over there. Oops, and I... An accident. And you can pick up the baseball and you can actually throw it around the room. And there you go. <laughs> it's a little... And so here are some of the books. And I just want to make sure you get a good look. As you can see, there's, there's the posters, Slave to Love, Get Stuff, Flash for Lulu, Blue Sisters, Killing Joke, Cabaret, Simple Minds, obviously. Big band back then. And you can see some of the books that he read, which is Catcher in the Rye, J.D. Salinger, Slaves of New York, Oranges Are Not the Only Fruit, Utah, Moby Dick. <laughs> and I think this one's a joke. Do not, I think it says, touch not the car. <laughs> so I think that's obviously a joke there. And if you see the Game of Life, this was a big game big board game back in my childhood and some of you may be familiar with that game it's a dartboard the motor posters the chicago blitz I don't, I don't know if that's an actual team or a made up one and i can see there's a tv i'm not going to click on it because it does again more audio there's some mixtapes here some recordings and you can see some of the stuff that he's reading which is cosmos by carl sagan uh, a board game, Balderdash. Some records. I can't really tell what the records are, but you see one, this one says Cabaret Voltaire. Some movies, some VCR tapes. Uh, Stand By Me, obviously. Top Gun, obviously. <laughs> uh, I don't know what the other... Uh, Clockwork Orange. And I, I'm not sure what the other one says. Is it Fast Times at Ridgemont High? More than likely. And yeah, there's a record over there, Slave to Love, Deliverance, James Dickey, Swiss Family Robinson, there's a the basketball, you cannot click on the basketball, Yahtzee, I'm a little surprised by the photo of Elvis, did not notice that. Um, and a Fender speaker system, which is kind of unusual. 
Because I don't see a uh, guitar. And I don't remember there being a guitar in the movie. But there's the... We used to have these <laughs> back when I was young. These cassette tape, cassette tape players. Boom boxes. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure what else there is to talk about. Uh, as you can see, this thing was rigged to the door. So if you open the door... He'd uh, rise up and it'd make noise there for coffee. And I'm pretty sure something was audio like, you know, oh, close the door, or I'm sick, or something like that. Uh, I'm not too sure on that. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is a look at the app, Ferris's Room VR. Uh, it's I wouldn't call this a review, more of a, you know, just let's just look at the, the room, see some of the memorabilia. And if you want to don download this app, it is free. On the Oculus Store, there is audio with several selected items. It'll tell you the back background story of how this person who recreated this room and made it available for VR was able to get these uh, hard-to-find items. And uh, I'll put a link in my videos where you can download it. I'm Fast Lawyer. I'm with Oculus Rift Reviews. If you like my video, please don't forget to subscribe. Comment and like, and have a wonderful day, and enjoy Ferris Bueller's Day Off if you haven't seen it already. Goodbye.